Hello friends. This video on relation and function part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched relation and functions part 1 to part 4. Now let's see number of relations. It is the number of possible subset of A cross B. Please note number of relation is nothing but number of subset. This is very crucial. Number of relation is nothing but number of subset. For example, if set A has P element, set B has Q element, then set A cross B has PQ element. We have to find the number of subsets, the, the number of subsets of A cross B. So number of subsets of, of a set which has n element is 2 to the power n. We know that. So the number of set which has the number of subset of a set which has PQ element is 2 to the power PQ. And that's what we got this formula. Let me rephrase. Number of element in set A is P. Number of element in set Q is B is Q. So the number of element in set A cross B is PQ. That we know. Now we have to find the number of subsets. Let me write here. Number of element in A is P. Number of element in B is Q. So the number of element in A cross B is PQ. Correct? Now we know that subset number of subsets, we will say number of subsets of set A which has the, the same set A will be 2 to the power P because it has P element so the number of subsets will be 2 to the power A. Number of subset of B will be 2 to the power Q because since B has Q element the number of subset will be 2 to the power Q. Similarly number of subset of A cross B will be 2 to the power PQ. Because since A cross B has PQ elements, the number of subset of set A cross B is 2 to the power PQ. Let's take this example. So A has 1, 2 and B has 3. So let's first write A cross B. A cross B is nothing but 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3. Two elements only. Number of A is 2, number of B is 1, number of A cross B is 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Now let's find number of subsets for this. Phi can be a subset. 1 comma 3 can be a subset. 2 comma 3 can be a subset. Let me put in the curly braces. And 1 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3, it can be a subset. So you see for the subset of A cross B is subset of A cross B is 5, 1, 3, 2, 3 or 1, 3, 2, 3. These are subsets and subsets is nothing but relation. So number of relation for A cross B is 4. So here what you want to derive is for any set if set A has P elements, number of A for A is P and number of set element in set B is Q, then the number of element in A cross B is PQ and the number of relationship which we can form is relationship or subset we can form is 2 to the power PQ. Now let's discuss function in terms of relation. A relation is said to be a function if every element of A has only one image or output in set B. For example, in the same, let's take the first the police example. So if there's a police and if there's a criminal, so this guy, police will always send him to jail. He can't send the criminal to home. The police, for a given input criminal, it will have only one output. This is not possible. But for two different input, it can have one output. For example, for the same police, if there is a criminal, that guy goes to jail by police. Police send him jail. If the same police get terrorist as an input, he also send the same the terrorist guy to jail. For two different input, there can be same same output. But for a same input, one input, there can't be two output. This is the basic difference between relation and function. So this is a relation actually. 
this is the relation this can be a relation but this can't be a function this is a function where for a given input you have only one output that means element in set a has only one image or output for example let's see this case for one we have output one for two we have output two this is a function of f x is equal to x square for three we have output nine three square four is equal to sixteen four square five square twenty five so this is an example of function why because for every input you are giving only one output let's see this is the relation where we say that second element the element in this should start with letter from this so a will point to amit b will point to bit2 b can also point to bholi and there is no c and d so you see for the same input b there are two output bit2 and bholi so this is not a function but this is a relation so if you see this in function for a given input there is only one output input will have only one output one input can't have multiple output for example when if we say police is the function police will have to send criminal to either jail or home it can't do both in this case b for b we have two output bit to and bolly so this is not a function this is a relation for every input we have only one output so this is a function so here we have a relation where we are saying y is equal to 2x and we are saying x and y are both natural number so y can have anything from ta 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 to infinity and x also can have anything from to infinity but if you notice y is equal to 2x that means x can be any number and y will have to be even number so in this case when i say domain domain is the input in the ordered list so any number can be input so we will say domain is a natural number when we say range then is the output output is always even number because y is equal to 2x so we will say output is equal to even natural number and we say codomain codomain is also all the values in y so y is here y is here even natural number so here also codomain is nothing but even natural number so you got the point here y is equal to 2x x is any natural number so y will also be any natural number but since we are multiplying by 2 y will always become a even number so domain is x domain is any natural number we can give any natural number to this for any natural number we have output correct so domain is any natural number range is output always we get is even natural number and codomain is also even natural number because that the whole set let's take some example to clear our concept on function we have to say whether this is a function or not so we have a p where the set is 2 1 3 1 4 2 2 so we see for a given output input 2 there is only one output 1 there is no other input 2 similarly 3 is also for 3 there is only one output for 4 also there is only one output we can draw this in the grand diagram 2 3 4 1 1 2 Two has the input one, three has the input one, is so one one, and four has the input two. This is a function because for a given input we have only one output. We'll take one more example, Q, where we have for two we have output two. For two we have also output four. You are seeing, for two you have output two, you have output four. this is not a function because for a given input you can have only one output we can draw the same thing here also so let's take this and this so here we have 2 3 4 2 and here also we have 2 3 4 so what we say for two output is 2 for output 2 is 4 for 3 it is 3 and 4 it is 4 we see for a given input 2 we have two output so this is not a function 
this is function this is not a function we'll take one example here we have left hand side is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 right let me take a bigger one because space is not enough let me take this this so left side is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and right side is equal to 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 is pointing to 2 2 is pointing to 3 you see here 3 is pointing to 4 4 is pointing to 5 5 is pointing to 6 and 6 is pointing to 7 you see all the elements are pointing to single one so one has only one output two has only one output three has only one output that's why this is also an example of function we repeat this is not an example of function because for a given input two we have two output one and two this two and four that's why this is not a function and other two are function now we have a function uh, to set a and b with different values and there is a function defined 1529314511 now the question is whether this is a function or relation let's do one thing let's draw the graph it makes our life simple on the left hand side we have 1 2 3 4 2 1 2 3 4 2 is already there so ignore it on the right side we have 5, 9, 1, 5, 11. 5, 9, 1, 5 already there, 11. So 1 points to 5, 2 points to 9, 3 points to 1, 4 points to 5 and 2 again points to 11. So we see that for a given input 2 we have 2 output. So this is not a function. But since it is a subset of this a and b you see 1 2 3 4 is part of this and 5 9 1 12 is part of this 5 9 1 11 sorry is part of this so this is a relation but this is not a function so we have got my point we have drawn the diagram we have seen that for a given input 2 we have two output and this is totally not possible in function so this is not a function but since this whole thing is a subset of a cross b so this is a relation if we say that this function also includes a member called let's say 2 comma 17 then this will not be relation also why because 2 comma 17 will not come as part of subset of a cross b a cross b will not have 2 comma 17 as a member please note for a For a thing to be relation, it should be a subset of A cross B. Here it is a subset of A cross B, so it is a relation. But for a relation to be a function, there should be one-on-one -on -one mapping. For every input in one, there should be only one output. There can't be two output for a given input. But there for two inputs, two different inputs, there can be one output. That is possible. But for one input, Two output is not possible. So we will say this is not advisable, but two inputs giving one output is advisable. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.